it's easy there for a minute until we figure out if it's under him or not. That was like the last cast, the Hail Mary cast. He looked big right there. Yeah. Oh, what broke? What happened? Oh, what? Welcome to this week's episode, Octopus Octopus. No, 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 no. He's coming right under the boat. Hit him. Good job, buddy. Dang, man. Oh, oh, what a jump. I got it, got it? Yeah. Okay, great. <laughs> that freaking <laughs> off. Redemption, baby. Woo! Redemption! <laughs> what a jump. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, oh. Stop. That's a fish there, bro. See the fish swimming there? Not, well, right here? Yeah, uh huh? They're all turning kind of into you there. Here? Yeah. Is that just short? No, it's a fish right there. It's day four of the 2014 Gold Cup Tarpon Tournament in Isla Morada, Florida. If longevity is an indicator that something is right with the sporting world, look no further than the Gold Cup. After 51 years in existence, it pushes forward in the trusted hands of those who honor the past and welcome the future. There's no room for goofs during the Gold Cup. If you play everything and play your hands right, you still need a little bit of luck and you gotta get the right fish on and you gotta be able to to get him to the boat, and, and uh, it, it takes a little bit of, of luck too, but, but there's just no room to goof up. <laughs> a slow start for both teams has been coupled with challenging weather conditions. Bo and Ed have struggled to get the bite. It's weighed heavy on them. Days where we haven't gotten one bite. Days. You have to go through those times, I always say, to get to it, you gotta go through it. Rob and Carlos have had some success so far, but it will take a strong finish to put them in contention for the lead. But they have remained positive, ever hoping for a change in their luck. Nervous water right here. Where am I? Point your rod. Yeah, that line. See him coming? Yes. Little group? Yes. They're turning out? Yeah. Little tick, easy. Tick, 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 tick. Hit him! Jeez, I thought none of them were going to look at it. That hurt. Well, a little knuckle buster, I wasn't paying attention. Two shots. You go from a zero to a hero in a tournament like this. Two shots. So that's why I try my butt off to, to, to give my guy as many shots as he can because then it becomes a numbers game. The more shots I give him, the more opportunity he has, the better opportunity I got. Ooh, he didn't like that. Of those odds to catch that two or three, those two, two or three fish to, to win a thing. Many, many occasions have I caught four weight fish on one day in a tournament and several releases. You know, six or eight fish in a day is not undoable, especially when the conditions get better. So my, my hopes are high. We were able to win the Holly multiple times, win the Golden Fly, place, you know, a bunch of times high in the Gold Cup. I've not been able to win it with Carlos, and that is really the pinnacle of what he really wants to end up doing.
Move. Don't have him yet. I'm, I've, I'm te I've got tension. All right, I got this. <laughs> you got him now? I got him. Good well, job. Good job. I've never had one spin under the boat like oh, that ever. Yeah. I mean. Put me in gear. Gear. Part of it. That was a tough ass fish. Silver Kings is presented in part by Yeti Coolers, built for the wild. Sea Deck Marine Products, your boat deserves Sea Deck. By Isla Mirada, the sport fishing capital of the world. And by Deep Eddy Vodka, dive in. Robbie started back in 1976. Uh, it was a marina, and uh, the, the tarpon attraction started with one fish. Uh, one fish washed up, and uh, it was injured. It had a vet sew up uh, his mouth. They got him to feed in some saltwater tanks, and uh, more and more fish came by. It's unique, you know, because you're looking at all these fish, and it, the one bit of advice I always tell you about, it's, ne it's never the one you're looking at. So when people are hand feeding them, you know, the ones that come up from the dock are the ones that really kind of give them a scare. And you'll hear hoots and hollers out there all day long. That means everybody's having fun. Maybe I could change the world, but I don't know, cause I can't even change your mind. On this last and final day of the tournament, tensions are high as teams are all jockeying for position. Despite their own difficulties, Rob and Carlos have worked themselves into third place. But it's day five of the Gold Cup, and anything can happen. I know that a day like we had on day four, on day five, we're gonna win this tournament. But it's, it's gonna require no mistakes, by either of us and pray that the fish show up. They're kind of, yeah, right there. Yeah. Oh, come on, fix that quick. Get your line straight, there's more coming. God, it's just so sensitive there. I tried to keep it low and I threw it in the water. See him right here, Yeah, Rob? I got him, I got him. You want me to try him? Huh? Left of that a little bit. Give me a break. Did not take it away from him. No, you broke him off, Carlos. Again? I haven't broken a leader on a hook set in five years and do two in a row. There's one right here. Here's one right here with his fin out of the water. Where? Um, he's at a two o'clock. See that boil? Yep, yep. He was right there. So we're just gonna have to try to predict where we think he is right now, okay? Okay. Cast out at like 12.30 right now for me. Almost, almost one o'clock to the right more. Drop it longer right in there, drop it. Okay, now strip right through there. That's him. Yeah, strip, strip, strip. Jumped it. Boy, was that good coaching, huh? Dropped it on his nose as soon as he ended up, as soon as you dropped it. That was a way. <laughs> yep. That was nice, though. But what did I do wrong? I don't know. In tarpon fishing, I want to quit all the time. I do, I mean, I want to go, okay, let's go in, especially in the tournament. I'm done, Bo, the fish aren't swimming. 
I'm off, let's go in. I want to say that and do that and think about that a lot. It's fine to say I want to quit if you know you're not going to quit. Just turn on you a little bit. Get ready for him to turn back maybe. Get right in there. Hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him. Nineteen, twenty years ago, Carlos saw me on an episode with Flip Pallet on Walker's K Chronicles. And um, he saw me and another buddy of mine, John Donnell. We were both on different shows with Flip, guiding him. Wow. And as a kid, Carlos came down here with his dad and fished, and he wanted, he, by seeing those shows, it kind of revamped his interest in wanting to come back down. So he called us both. He called me and John to try and book some days and it just so happens that I called him back first. He's being tough. He is being tough. And we started fishing 18 years ago, and he went from being a very, very beginner fly fisherman to now one of the top three competitors in these serious tarpon tournaments. I mean, we've won four or five of them together and, and uh, are always you know, in a podium finish. I don't think we've ever finished worse than fourth in over 20 tournaments fish. So. We have a little, a little reputation in the tournament circuit together. Got him? That's the cool thing about this tournament is really you're never out of it until the fat lady sings at the end. We're good. See you later, dude. Silver Kings is presented in part by Sea Deck Marine Products. Your boat deserves Sea Deck. By Smith, the experience is everything. Able Reels, crafted for chaos. And by Isla Mirada, the sport fishing capital of the world. Sometimes when they're kind of moving off, you just kind of zing one out there and see what happens. Kind of the Hail Mary throw, and dang if fish didn't come up and eat it. Now we gotta wait on the one we need. He's, a, he's an 80 pound fish, solid 800 point fish, and we'll add some of the release points that we, we have sitting in the bank to our score. This is the fish we need to, to add, to even have a chance. We get this yeah. fish, we catch one more fish, we got this thing. I'm confident that's what it's gonna take to win, and I'm confident that we have plenty of time to do it. Real thick in the middle. Yeah, he's fat. I'm gonna give him a click. He looked big right there. Yeah. Oh! What broke? What happened? I hear a a, a, a noise. It's not like a rod breaking, but it but the rod kind of came back as if it broke. Oh. I finally saw the Albright knot in the fourth guide of the rod. Just take a wrap. Here, hold, no, 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 and it basically no, no, no. tied itself to the eye. I mean, I don't think you'd do that again in a million tries. No, 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 no! I had to react quick because the fish was going to pop off and start, you know, chasing him around pretty aggressively with the boat. Almost threw Carlos out of the boat, but I had to. He's coming right under the boat. And we're connected to this 80, 85 pound fish basically cane pole style. <laughs> He's over here. All of a sudden I went from positive, okay, we're on our path to success. We're gonna get this fish and we're gonna go get another one to what just happened? <laughs>
I've never seen that happen in my life. What? I've never seen that happen. Okay, he's coming up in the water column. He's gonna roll. He's getting his strength back. He's going away. That was almost done. Five minutes from being points on the board. I think we can just get him to whoa, surge. And I'm in disbelief because I've never seen this happen before. All at the same time, he's working I'm trying to be positive and figure out a way to make this happen still. A lot of pressure. He's on the bottom to the right. Okay, he's coming up. He's coming up. Okay. Okay. If, I don't want to pop him off. I mean, I don't want to pop it out. I mean, he's having to swim against pressure, a bit a rod bend. Oh, he's going straight down. He's coming up to me, surging. It's wrapped on itself. Look at that. Look at that. I don't want to look at it. I was kind of entertained by the whole episode. I think I was disappointed we lost the fish. Rob was very disappointed we lost the fish. But come on, I mean, that's pretty crazy stuff. It's kind of fun to be involved in that. Woohoo! Redemption! <laughs> Redemption! We've got an hour and 26 minutes <laughs> to funny, catch Bo. four weights. Bo, that's funny. We can do it. You never know. You never know. That was nice, Ed, though. You never gave up, man. Silver Kings is presented in part by Yeti Coolers, built for the wild. Florida Keys Outfitters, your go-to source for saltwater fly fishing success. By Patagonia, fly fishing apparel and gear. And by Deep Eddie Ruby Red Vodka, dive in. Just outside of that, it's a, it's a small string. Look just to the right of that. Yeah, right out there, you see him? It's gonna be kind of a crappy. Go ahead and throw in as far as you can right in this white hole, right out there right where here. you're looking. Yep, as far as you can right there. Okay, great shot. Hold on, get ready. Are you kidding me? Got him. Nice, Ed. Good job, man. That was clean. <laughs> Redemption! We've got an hour and 26 minutes <laughs> to catch though. four weights. Oh, that's funny. We can do it. You never know. You never know. Bo, you're getting ready to say a bad word, weren't you? Oh, Ed, <laughs> a bad word is not what I was about Bo, to say. Bo, can you believe that? They did that to us? Ed, I was about to say something that you would not have agreed with. Okay. I was about to say a lot that you wouldn't have agreed <laughs> Bo, with. Bo, that was awesome. Awesome. Awesome coaching. <laughs> After losing that big fish with Scott, I'm so afraid to put pressure on her now. Sad. I need to just put the heat on. I, I learn a lot about life when I tarpon fish in these tournaments. It helps me deal with life. Nice jump. You gotta wait? Nope. Four days of biteless fishing. Four days of tarp and just rejecting our fly. And finally, the fish stayed on the line. And it was a celebration. It was a partay. There's, there's nothing like it. I was not missing that one. After I choked that <laughs> other one, I was not, Bo, I was not missing that fish. Ain't ready yet. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. 
This is fine, but it's not fine until you get your hands on it. There you go. All right, Ed. Nice. Yeah, disengage time. <laughs> Could just get one that's just a little bit bigger. Yep, go. Woo! Redemption, baby! Redemption! Boom! Let's hug it out! Let's hug it out! Yeah! Yeah, we got a release. Win or lose, <laughs> this week is one that these guys live for. The Gold Cup is a tournament built on integrity and trust, forged on the strong values of sportsmanship and the competitive nature of anglers. As this honored event comes to a close, it recognizes two men that stand above the others. Guy Dustin Huff and angler Thane Morgan take home the grand champion honors and have their names etched into the holy grail of tarpon history. Dustin is ever grateful to compete in this event and walks in the footsteps of his dad and fishing legend, Steve Huff, who won the Gold Cup three times with Sandy Moret. When the sun rises, I'm gonna be out there. You're gonna see me. And you know what? It's the day after the Gold Cup. You know what that means? It's time to start pre-fishing for next year. To see and learn more and to watch full-length episodes, log on to SilverKingsTV.com. Woohoo! <laughs> comes